Hello everybody, my name is Gary Potter. Welcome back to another video today in this video. We are back playing Wizard 101. And today we are going to be crafting Krampus. So in the last two videos we crafted Brimstone Revenant and Hephaestus. And now it is time to craft the one and only Krampus. As we can see though, Gary forgot that you needed more than just 50 Astral Shards. So give me a minute to fix that. We are good now, I fixed the issue. <laughs> so to start this video off, we obviously need the Krampus TCs. This is one of the more lenient and less farm intensive, I guess, spells to craft, because instead of needing 10 uh, TCs like you would with almost every other uh, spell, you only need six. However, I understand why they did that because Krampus is really rare to get. You can only get Krampus during Christmas time. And you have to farm one of the three Krampus bosses, which is the only place that you can get the TCs. I believe that you can also get it from Loremaster, but I could be wrong. I had three of them at the beginning of today, and then I just had a bunch of people trade me them, a bunch of friends. So that is where I got them personally but you can get them from many other areas. The Perfect Ruby and Ghostfire, I obviously got in Celestia, which is where I got most of my other Perfect Reagents because Arceteos is just my guy. He sells everything that I need. So here's the Perfect Ruby and here is the Ghostfire. You need 100 Perfect Ruby and 200 Ghostfire. The next thing that you need is Black Pearl. So personally, I have three King Parsley Farms on Samuel, not to mention others on my other characters but the normal harvest sometimes the king parsley will drop black pearls which is where i got them on ethan and i just traded them over from sam to ethan however you can also get them here in celestia in this dungeon here i haven't farmed this dungeon in a really long time because i just have the king parsley which drop pretty regularly and i actually have max black pearl you can also get a transmute version of it from avery templeton over here in the corner of celestia and all you need is black lotus to get coal i also got that from architeos over here architeos and it's only five the astral shards this one's going to be a little more difficult to explain how i got it so in chrysalis which i don't have unlocked on ethan there are there are little comet things so reagents that are just around, so like this cat tail, there will be a little asteroid kind of things just kind of buried in the ground. And then you get astral pieces or something, which you can transmute into astral shards. You can also get it as a rare drop from those little comets. Maybe they're called comet tails. I, I really can't remember. That's where I got them. I just traded them over from... Andrew and Sam over to Ethan. Sunstone, once again, I also got it from my King Parsley because the normal harvest King Parsley dropped quite a bit of Sunstone. I have almost max on Sam just because I farm my King Parsley all the time and Sunstone is actually a pretty common resource that is dropped from the King Parsley. There are other places, obviously, you can get them from drops in the game, just many, many different drops. If you just look up Sunstone, on the Wizard 101 wiki, then you'll get a you'll get a bunch of people that drop Sunstone specifically. However, you can also go to the Stella Idzomna in the Marleybone Museum, and you'll find Sandstone, which you can then go to Avery Templeton and buy the transmute version of Sunstone, and then craft a bunch of Sunstone. That is where I used to get it from before my King Parsley. So that is where you get the Sunstone specifically. And the final thing that you need to craft Krampus is Amber. I, as I was saying, I do have a bunch of King Parsley farms and King Parsley drop Amber as a Elder Harvest. And I have like 70 or so in my bank, which is where I got my, all of my Amber from. You can also get it from Demetrius in Mount Olympus, as well as Cronus in Tartarus and a few other bosses like Malice Dare the Undying and a couple others. Once again, if you go to the wiki and Google Amber, then you will find a few more people that drop it. I personally just got all of mine from King Parsley. So the area that you get Brampus is in the Shirataki Temple, which is in the Shoshone Village in Mushu. So as soon as you enter Mushu, which is right around here, you're just gonna go up and to the left and then go into the Shoshone Village and then you'll find the Shirataki Temple. 
From there, you want to do the first battle of the dungeon and then kind of just follow your way through to get to the temple area, which is where Master Yan Khan Cook is, and then also where Din Ho is. And then from there, you'll be able to get the Krampus recipe. Now we finally get to craft Krampus. Krampus is a seasonal spell, which is why it's so... It's not, it's not very common that you see it every day. So there we go. There's Krampus. Four pips. That is four pips for 305 to 345 fire damage and a negative 45% accuracy to the target. Let's go test this amazing, gorgeous spell out, shall we? All right, let's test it on some green man. Some green mans. All right, so 580 to 620 fire damage plus a negative 45% accuracy to target. And for only four pips, so I'm gonna be quiet so that everybody can hear Krampus so you can know when he's coming. horrifying imagine if that was in real life and you were just getting yelled at by a giant creature with super sharp teeth here it is again just in case you didn't see it correctly because your eyes were shut or something There we go, there is Krampus. So it is a really decent spell for only four pips. So that is the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, please let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you guys like videos like this. Tell me what the next craftable spell should be and what you guys would like to see me craft. Like the video if you enjoyed and you like my commentary. Turn on the notification bell. You'll get a notification anytime I upload a video. I upload tons of videos like this including other walkthroughs, playthroughs, other games. So just press the notification bell and you will get to watch videos as soon as I post them. Go follow me on my social medias. The links for those will be down in the description as always. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.